All right, so now we're going to begin uh, painting the project to finish things up, to begin to finish things up. We'll go through the materials I'll be using first. First of all, the paint. Um, I'll be using a, a general latex for the walls. It's semi-gloss white. And uh, the trick here, uh, I like to use this uh, pouring insert. What it does is it fits inside the lid uh, of the can and gives you a, a way to pour real nicely without running paint all down the sides and without clogging up the seam here so your lid goes on nice and tight. So you have already used some of the paint, but look how nice the, 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 the rim is here. Um, I like to put my paint when I'm doing small projects into a small container. And these are um, kind of the heavier duty, or duty uh, Rubbermaid containers. You can get these at Walmart. Um, makes a nice surface to clean your brush off on rather than trying to do it on a round lip of the can and then have everything run down and then uh, cap it off. And I like to label the, the lids with what's inside. I found the paint stored like this at least eight months and it doesn't dry up. And when you want to clean this up, it's latex, which is basically a rubber. So it comes right off. The, the, the containers clean up really easily. So brushes. <clears throat> I have an assortment. These are inexpensive Walmart brushes, you know, the cheapies. You get those for a couple bucks a piece. They're nice for, you know, um, projects that don't require a, a super duper finish. Um, for this project, I'm using much higher quality brushes. Um, uh, I'll be using this one primarily, flat brush. This is called a cutting cut-in brush. And it's for if you're trying to do a real precision edge. Maybe I'll use this when we do the baseboards to get a real nice line. And then we have painter's masking tape to mask out areas that you don't want to get paint on. And in this case, we do want to paint the wall, but we don't want the wall paint going on the wall board or the baseboard. So you can see I've masked off the baseboard section. So the first coat is on, and that's kind of what things are looking like overall. But usually after you do a first coat, well, you can see where you need to do more work. It kind of makes your errors show up. And in the corner here, if you look real close, we got a little more patch and sanding to do right here to smooth this out and, and blend it in. And then we'll do another coat or so, but you know, here's where the big hole in the wall used to be, and things are starting to starting to shape up. So a couple more coats and some paint, more uh, patch and sand, and we'll be good to go.